into the life and mind of George Washington. First in war, first in peace, and first in the hearts of his countrymen. We all know George Washington as the father of our country, General of the Continental Army, and the first president of the newly formed United States of America after the Constitution was ratified. However, do you really know George Washington? You will now have an opportunity to have a private discussion with Mr. Washington in his private study at Mount Vernon. The Center for Historical Research Studies is proud to present. The History Academy presents Into the Life and Mind of George Washington. Good day. Welcome to Mount Vernon. So glad you came. Please take a seat and we will discuss your letter that you sent to me. I appreciate you writing to me to discuss these questions so I have a chance to think about them before we proceed to go over all this information that you're requesting of me. So you have numerous questions that you listed in here, but I think probably the most appropriate one would be the one that's, that asks, what events in my life prepared me to assume command as commander in chief? That's a very good question. As you know, I'm a native Virginian and I was born on Pope's Creek, born at Pope's Creek. My father was Augustine and I was the product of the second marriage of Augustine. His first wife passed on. And so I had two older brothers who became very involved in my life and they were going to teach me exactly what it means to be a Virginian. And they assumed the um, fatherly figure that I needed that I so lost at age 11. And they, were, they realized that part of that had to be some sort of education, but unfortunately, there wasn't enough extra money at that time to send me on to higher education. Uh, as you know, I did not become a lawyer. I did not become a doctor. Uh, I don't have any graduate type degrees, but I have a very solid education thanks to my older brothers. They spent money for tutoring and this tutoring was excellent. And during the tutoring, I became very proficient in mathematics. And somewhere around age 16, I said to myself, I need to become my own man. I am not going to have life handed to me on a silver platter. I need to be a self-made man. Equestrian sports were very important. I needed to become the best rider of a horse in Virginia. I also needed to know how to fight, fight with a sword. And so I became a very good swordsman with the tutoring that I received. And as well, all gentlemen are dancers. And so I made sure that I knew how to dance. So during this time growing up on this beautiful farm we had at, at Pope's Creek and then we moved out to Ferry Farm and then we added Mount Vernon, I became very strong and very adept at all of these maneuvers. And with my background in mathematics, I was able to comprehend surveying very well. And a very close family friend, the Fairfax family, Lord Fairfax, decided that he would apprentice me to a surveyor. And he needed to have his properties, which were expansive in Virginia, including into the Ohio Valley, needed to have these properties recorded and surveyed. So I was apprenticed to a surveyor and I learned the surveying trade, which allowed me to make very long journeys out into the Ohio Valley very dangerous area, fraught with Indians. And of course the French were doing their incursion into what we felt was our British land that went from the East Coast to the West Coast. 
and I learned the Ohio Valley and I actually acquired land in the Ohio Valley. As time went on, I became of age and could become a British military officer. And with all of my background, Governor Dinwiddie said, this is the fellow that would be a very good major to come out and to come and join the British Army as part of the Virginia militia. So my original um, promotion to major was for the Virginia militia attached to the British Army. And as you well know, we made many forays into the Ohio Valley just to assess what the French were doing. And we had one unfortunate situation occur where we came across a French military organization that was encroaching and coming towards Virginia. And we figured they had nefarious actions in mind. And so what we did is we attacked them. And along with this, we had the